This attack crossed every red line, and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. We are not a frog in boiling water. We are a nation of lions. Following such a massive and direct attack on Israel, the entire world, let alone Israel, cannot settle for inaction. We will defend our future. Today, the Council must take action. Condemn Iran for their terror, trigger the snapback mechanism and reimpose crippling sanction, designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terror organization. Iran's operation was entirely in the exercise of Iran's inherent right to self-defense as outlined in Article 51 of the Charter of the United Nations and recognized by international law. This concluded action was necessary and proportionate. It was precise and only targeted military objectives and carried out carefully to minimize the potential for escalation and prevent civilian harm. These countries, especially the United States, have shielded Israel from any responsibility for the Gaza massacre. While they have denied Iran's inherent right to self-defense against the Israeli armed attack on our diplomatic premises, at the same time, they shamefully justified the Israeli massacre and genocide against the defenseless Palestinian people under the pretext of self-defense. In the coming days, and in consultation with other member states, the United States will explore additional measures to hold Iran accountable here at the United Nations. More immediately, the Security Council must unequivocally condemn Iran's aggressive actions and call for Iran and its partners and proxies to cease their attacks. If Iran or its proxies take actions against the United States or further action against Israel, Iran will be held responsible. В этой связи отмечаем сигнал Тегерана о нежелании дальнейшей эскалации военных действий с Израилем. Настоятельно призываем Западный Иерусалим последовать его примеру и отказаться от практики провокационных силовых действий, акций на Ближнем Востоке, чреватых крайне опасными рисками и последствиями в масштабах всего региона и без того дестабилизированного в результате обострения Палестино-Израильского противостояния. Yi 解决分歧和争端避免紧张局势进一步升级 I remind all member states that the Charter of the United Nations prohibits the use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of any state or in any other manner inconsistent with the purposes of the United Nations. Furthermore, the principle of inviolability of diplomatic and consular premises and personnel must be respected in all cases in accordance with international law, as I stated when condemning the 1 April attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. And we have a shared responsibility to actively engage all parties concerned to prevent further escalation. As the Friendly Relations Declaration of 1970 states, acts of reprisal involving the use of force are barred under international law. We have a shared responsibility to secure an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza, the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages, and the unimpeded delivery of humanitarian aid. Secretary General, for his briefing, I now give the floor to those council members. Who...